That's right. You know what? I'm not ashamed to tell people I'm 57 years old. Or anything like that for birthdays. 
we go to Sunday champagne brunch, right ladies? Which means at 9 o'clock in the morning we're there, by 12 o'clock everyone's fucked up. <laughs> and they started yelling at me like, Gracie, you need to stop telling people how old we are. Because they're gonna know how old we are. You gotta stop it. And I'm looking at her going, bitch, everyone knows how old we are because we all have that vaccination scar. <laughs> You can't be saying it's a cigarette burn or you're from Mexico. No, and then the other one's going, I'm finding myself a husband. I looked at her, bitch, you do find a husband, he just blows somebody else. <laughs> and the other one, she's missing, we're like, where is she at? We're looking for her, she's over there, over there at the omelet bar. Oh my gosh, she's over there dancing around. Hi, Mijo, what you want on your levels? <laughs> gosh, friends are crazy. Just crazy, crazy. But it does suck getting old. Yeah. So, anyway, I, uh, I gotta tell you, I grew up in the 60s. Woohoo! Woo! So, you know, my parents really didn't beat us, <laughs> they just said everything was against the law. I'd be, Dad, can I go outside? No, it's against the law. And I'm Catholic. I was afraid to have sex. Because I thought it was against the law. <laughs> it's terrible. So you know what? I thought I wanted to you know, become a slut. Yeah. Because you know what? I was programmed. Because if I didn't love you, I would not have sex with you. But I did believe it, love at first sight. Because it happened all the time. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd deprogram myself. I thought I'd become a slut, you know, smash me some homies, hit it, be a puta. <laughs> so I tried that. So I started hanging out with a slut, puta. It's too much work because she knew it was fast. But I'm going to share my, flirt, my first, you know, slut beating up the, beating, what is it? Smashing homies. Scrolling, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, the guy was uh, 6'2". He had a really nice chest. He had a six pack. He had that bunny trail going on. Oh my gosh, this guy was all over me. Then all of a sudden I'm here, ring, ring, ring. What happens if the damn phone rings? Yep, I wake up. <laughs> Come on, you guys know that guys are not 6'2". They're 5'2". <laughs> And they have a six pack, it's gonna be where? In the refrigerator. <laughs> right, guys? Why are you getting hot up here? I was married. I, got to, I was married once. I loved being married, it was fun. I was married to a Latin guy. It was cool. We party all the time, like Latin people party. Right? You know how it is? The women in the house, the guys outside. <laughs> My husband would call me because he wanted a beer. What I have to do, I had to go outside and give it to him and make him get off the ice chest. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's payback time, right? So I just put some burgers in his beans. So I gave him burger beans, kind of rice. <laughs> yeah. Then I became a CSI. In my days when we got married, we couldn't spy our husbands because it's cool now you guys have, what, cell phones? We had, be we had pagers. If the pager went off, we want to know what it was, right? <laughs> so my husband, he took off, and I'm like wondering where he was. So I'm walking in the house trying to be a CSI, looking where my husband, where is he at? He was in the garage. What was he doing? He was juicing the goose. I looked at him, and I said, shit. And I was watching him. I, he didn't know I was watching him. I was watching him, and I thought, hmm, what's he doing? Hmm. Then I really got pissed off because I watched him until he was actually done. And he picked up a towel and he wiped himself. And I looked at him and I said, shit, that's where all my towels have been going to. <laughs> <laughs> and that damn toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> and then after we'd come back from parties, you know, he'd be drunk and what would he want to do and have that drunk love, right? Of course, they're moving and moving because they think they're real good lovers. You know, like Carlos thinks he's good lovers. <laughs> Fucking lovers they are. <laughs> 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 I, cooked, I cooked for my husband. I cooked a lot for my husband. And I'm thinking, I'm 
a really good cook and stuff. So I'm cooking for him and I'm asking him, honey, I'm excited about my meal, right? I'm, honey, how does this taste? And he's looking at me going, hmm, it doesn't taste like my mom's. I said, shit, it doesn't taste like your mom's? So I guess I had better ask your mom how to suck your dick too, right? Uh, <laughs> and he said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I practiced for a few weeks and I thought, damn, I'm getting good at this. So when, you know, came down, he had to ask me, did you watch videos? Videos? Hell no. Go ask your dad. <laughs> It's <laughs> about being married. Gosh. My last name is my last name like he was calling him Mr. Whatever he was calling. <laughs> my last name is Armijo. And it's crazy because, you know, sometimes I have to really think about how I say my last name. Because sometimes I'll say my last name too fast. And it sounds like I say I'm a ho. <laughs> I go, Gracie, I'm a ho. And then I went, how come I can't find anybody to love me? Because I've been telling everybody. <laughs> but you know, if you want to look me up, you can call me Gracie Army Ho. Because I like to serve my country anyway. <laughs> That's right. I thought I was going to get the light soon, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Somebody's not doing their job. <laughs> Because I know I am. It's not because I'm gonna go fuck anybody, because I'm a hoe. <laughs> Carlos, are you ready, darling? Oh shit, it's not tequila, it's a beer. Oh, see? He forgot something. He went an alcoholic beverage. Come on, Carlos, give it to them. I should do porn, huh? Yeah, you should. Alright, give it to Grace. Just her. Grace, Grace, let me go. Alright.